Hi, Ben here from the Rail Museum. Today we're looking at some of the more technical aspects of our model railway display. We're going to be talking about frogs, why we have them on the layout, why they're electrified and why dead ones are no good to us. Why are there frogs on the layout? Well, we're not talking about the ones down by the river that go croak. On a model railway, as in real life, the frog is a special part of the track known as a point or a turnout. A point is the fancy arrangement of rails that allows a train to change tracks. Within the point, there are toes, heels, blades, closure rails, stock rails, check rails, and the frog. The frog is the clever bit in the middle that allows the train wheels to cross over one rail to another. So in this case, the rails are set to come straight through, or we could change them so the points diverge and take us on to the other track. You may be aware that the two rails are used to conduct electricity to the model trains to make them go. In our case, every length of rail is connected to make sure that the trains keep running smoothly. To keep this electricity going where we need it and to not cause trouble like a short circuit, we designate one rail as red and the other rail as black. Where this gets tricky is that you can see within the frog, the red rail crosses the black rail, which with the red and black touching would normally cause a short circuit straight away. And that's bad news. This can be dealt with by using an insulating piece of plastic in the V of the frog. These are often referred to as an insul frog. On our layout, we use something different known as electro frogs. This means the frog is set up as a separate piece of track that has electricity going to it, but the polarity can be changed. This has to be done when the point direction is changed, which means that the polarity of the frog changes from the red rail to the black rail. The reason it's an issue having dead frogs is that if there's no electricity being fed to the frog, we end up with a dead spot which can stop the train. As we've renovated the layout and reconnected the wiring, we've had to go through all 154 points on this layout and check that the frogs aren't dead. So you can see dead frogs on a model layout are a bad thing. We like them to be powered and electrical. 